Hello everybody, I'm Master Wabbit, and let's keep playing Pyre. Previously, we learned, well, a lot actually. The stars are disappearing. The liberation rites will end. But that moment is not yet arrived, and Rookie Greentail earned his liberation. So, up next we need to continue our journey, but I was double checking all my notes and it turns out I says my liberty reader has returned, then how may I assist you? There's actually a bit of lore if I complete a practice right. So let's go take a look at this. You express your interest in the practice rights. It seems to be a way to practice conducting the rights without all of the pressures of the real thing. Certainly, reader, this is why I am here. See you in that blasted book in just a moment. My beyonders shall be waiting. In each right, we gain enlightenment, whether we prevail or we fail. Sandra appears and looks upon your fellow exiles. Welcome to the practice rites. You are fortunate your reader summoned you as you could use a little discipline. Now come forth and let us see how capable you are. In the practice rites, no enlightenment is awarded. You may train here with your fellow exiles as much as you wish, or press the play button to return to the wagon at any time. Or maybe it's the start button. Well, actually, I'm looking at my controller right now. It's like, uh, when this game came out, it was like, uh, what was it? PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. But what I have in my hand is like an Xbox One controller, so. Back in the days, they used to call it start and select, and they weren't cowards about it. But nonetheless, here's what practice rights look like. Roster bio update for Sandra. So yeah, Sandra... Almost a millennium ago, she set out to find the missing emperor and take his life. She had her many reasons. She and her sisters of the Arch plunged down the river willingly. When at last they found their mark, they found a man transformed and humbled. But Sandra thought this yet another one of the Emperor's deceptions and struck at him repeatedly even as her sisters relented. The scribes had to respond. Blinded and expelled, Sandra became a living instrument in the rites. She now exists to train exiles in the rites and teach them penitence. Uh, I'm at, all right, so we take a look at, yeah, all you know of her for certain is that she serves the Beyonders, Zaphistoff, Vorfrit, and Sandra. All right, crime, attempted murder, motive, Vengeance, 837 years. That's a long time. But yeah, they don't have anything too fancy on them. So, now that we're only down to five players, I, uh, need to do practice. Oh, hang on. So, give them, let's get rid of that. Where is yours? There we go. I definitely need to have a scorer. Uh... Get Bog Crone in here. And let's bring in Tizo? Sure, Tizo. A rather interesting group. If you are ready, then, Nightwings, grasp the orb and we shall train with you. So there's no penalty for losing. Oops. Yeah, they are. Press that to exit at any time. And it is done. The Nightwings win in a match that is... There we go. Mystic Training unlocked. And I believe that should give me a lore piece on the Beyonders. I sincerely hope so, or else I would have wasted 10 minutes doing that. Your vision returns as the effect of the Beyonder Crystal dissipate. Time seems to have stood still while you experienced the vision. Yep, the Beyonders. Alright. That's good to know. So yeah, that's what a practice match is. It's not very interesting, is it? 
just had to quickly type in my notes real quick which team it was what all right let's continue along our journey good morning everyone we are at the mercy of the stars and none can say how soon they'll shine for us again let us recover for a while at moonlight alcove and decide how to proceed all right well there really isn't much else we can do other than go there Nobody wants to chit chat. All right, let's bide our thing on. One last check with Sandra. Anything new? Nope. I bid you farewell. All right, let's bide our time. Best make yourselves as comfortable as possible here for the time, Nightwings. The rites ought to commence again before we know it. Until then, be well. Thus, you and your companions remain on the mountaintop, waiting for the stars to shine again. The cycle of the rites is ending. The news that Volfred and the lone minstrel revealed to you now threatens to disrupt the group's resolve. Who most deserves their freedom? Can there be any hope for your revolutionary plan to change the Commonwealth if too few exiles manage to return. These questions hang like a fog over you and your companions as you linger there on Mount Elodio. For now, the exiles of the Nightwings vow to stick together for as many opportunities as they shall have. Many moons pass. One cold evening, Volford finds you off on your own. Oh, there's a chapter revealed called Afterward. Well, my boy, it's time once more. Come and see. Volford indicates the sky, and through the snow, you see that he is right. Soon all of your companions are gathered. Volford regards the group in his steady manner. As you all know, I have refrained from participating in the rites myself. This was a long-held choice of mine for a variety of reasons. Chief among those reasons is so that I might direct our plan, free from unwanted attention, both from our adversaries here and those who would oppose us in the Commonwealth. Another reason is my past experience conducting the rites. It did not end on good terms. Before my time, the Nightwings comprised three exiles, Brighton, Erisa, and Orlek. Little Tiza was with them as well, still learning in the ways. So we know of Orlek, we've heard of Erisa, but who's Brighton? Uh, Brighton is a former exile of the Nightwings who conducted the rites alongside Orlek and Erisa. All right. After Brighton regained his freedom in the Liberation Rites, the Nightwings took me in. A story for another time. But for one thing, I had capacity to read the ancient book. Anyway, when, we, when next we earned our way into the Liberation Rite, Orlek was anointed for return. He had long been in exile, and his horns were beginning to show. We prevailed. Little Tizo snuffed the accuser's pyre. Thus, Orlek earned his freedom. However, just as the shimmer pool was to engulf him, Erisa, she, she shoved him from the precipice and took her freedom in his stead. She perished, of course. Only the anointed can transcend the shimmer pool. But she thought the warnings were a myth and paid the price. She was always restless. I presumed Orlik perished too. To survive a fall from Mount Elodial, I was left alone. Subsequently, I made no attempts to reassemble the Nightwings, knowing that such treachery, such harm was even possible, as part of this ordeal. I, frankly, still do not hold Erisa entirely at fault for what transpired. I hold instead the Commonwealth responsible, for it put us in this desperate situation. And... I resist the urge to think the rites may partly be to blame as well for pitting brother against brother, sister against sister. Volford breathes a deep sigh. Now I see that Orlek yet lives, at a time when our plan is already in motion. And even the stars are fading, perhaps a signal that the scribes themselves know that the Nightwings are divided, and that they do not approve. But 
I choose to take it as a sign that we must act. The scribes have put us in a set of circumstances where each one of us may rise to the occasion. The Nightwings and our plan need all the help that they can get. And so, I have made a decision, which I wish to announce here to you all. In the name of the Nightwings, and reader by your leave, I would conduct the rites again. Long have my skills languished in the matter, I admit, although I trust I shall regain them soon enough. While I once vowed never to conduct the rites again, our present situation calls for all our resources to be brought to bear. So, if I may be of use during the rites to come, I shall avail myself. That's all. Now then, our reader shall determine where we are headed come first light. Fulford bows his head to everyone, while the others exchange looks, then one by one, salute him in turn. Volford stands ready to conduct the rites again. Welcome him back to the ranks. Once more do several stars shine bright in the night sky, revealing several paths for you to pursue towards salvation. The stars themselves await the will of the Nightwings. Choose your path towards salvation. Triesta, Jamur, and Lou. Okay. Uh... I know for a fact... Ooh, hang on. We've already been to all these locations. Uh, the Glade of Lou, the Nest of Triesta, and the... Where was it down here? Spring of Jamur. Yep, Spring of Jamur. That's what I got here. So, who have I not fought? Uh, we have the Essence, which is one. The Accusers, which I have not faced off against. And the other one was the Tempers. All right. Well, we were supposed to face up against these guys previously. We never did because someone interfered. Let's go back to the Nesta Triesta and face off against these foes. I see it's time we meet again with Lendl and the Accusers. We can make for the Nesta Triesta at first light, my boy. Let us recover through the night. For now, it is too late to do much else. Yeah, I am definitely worried that I'm going to be missing some lore pages because I... Don't know if it's a hundred percent RNG that oh. I do so hate to thusly contact you, O Reader. Hi. Yet an awful rumor reached me recently. That you have within your retinue a traitor. To the Nightwings and the Commonwealth alike. But you would never harbor such a traitor, now would you? I trust your time within the downside would have taught you that. You rise after a fitful night of slumber? Somehow, the voice, which thus far has reached you only in the rites, has found its way into your sleep as well. You shake free of it. I as described within the book, it calls to you during the rites and remain and reminds you of your exile. That's what the voice is. So yeah, um, I don't know if all the places show up are completely RNG or not, but hopefully they are not, because I do need, I think, like two more landmarks, a couple more Forsaken Lands. I'll have to double check everything as I go, because I don't want to miss out on lore, man. The time at Moonlight Alcove has made everyone restless. The group is eager to set forth at your command. All right. Let's go. I think each landmark is really just... Oh, all right. Uh, the Forsaken Lands is really just the area before going... Oh, what do we got here? As the wagon soars across the skies above Wakingwood, you notice the Volfred appears lost in thought. You cannot sense straight away what he is thinking. Do not mind me, reader. It is simply that being here in this vicinity, it brings back a lot of memories and gives me much to ponder. I hid within those woods for many, many years, making preparations for our plan. I cast aside my raiments and became untraceable. There I waited for the plan to germinate, so it means a lot now to be here, above that place, at last. It's not an emotion. Quite the view, wouldn't you say, my boy? Yes, it is quite the view. All right, so next up, we have Black Shore and we have Highwind Cove. Oh, there's a talisman room to be buried here. Or, deeper understanding of the rights. Uh, let's go grab a talisman so that way I can sell that. Alright. Oh, someone wishes to speak with us. Hmm. 
there. Volfred appears to have finished sealing some sort of document. He smiles as he approaches you. Hello, my boy. Was just on my way out to make a drop. Report a bit of progress our supporters on the other side should like to know. It is not clear to you as yet exactly how Volfred is able to communicate with agents in the Commonwealth. We have our ways of making certain that such messages manage to make their way to whom they need to reach. Most of the time, at least. It's not exactly the most dignified of methods, but the Messenger Imp is as hardworking as the rest of us, or dare I say, more so. Messenger Imp, he is one of Volford's couriers tasked with delivering news to and from the Commonwealth. Oh, he's working for us. All right. Most imp la imps lack the capacity to do that job. They, of course, cannot traverse the outer boundaries of the downside, but they can squeeze much closer than any of us. Volford offers to tell you more of this process. It seems that he has been using certain imps to relay messages to his agents in the Commonwealth for some time now. Uh, from that point, we depend on certain other means. A trafficker like Rookie would likely be familiar with them. Then my agents intercept the messages as they arrive. The messages are coded in the off chance they reveal themselves before unwanted eyes, but even still, my agents put themselves in great peril there, supporting our cause and our plan. I could not ask for a more dedicated bunch. A shame we cannot meet them, separated as we are. If we succeed in our endeavors, it shall be thanks in no small part to them. They have identified hundreds of citizens grown loyal to our cause, found hidden corners where they can speak freely. Their goal is to grow in numbers while remaining safe. For we cannot resist the Commonwealth if too few citizens stand with us, whether due to apathy or fear or lack of willingness to see our nations as we do. Some of these agents I have known for many, many years, since long before my exile. Many were former students from my days of teaching Commonwealth doctrine. It was clear then who among us did not take the common view. These days I report to them our progress, and they, in turn, report theirs back. From that assessment, I update the estimation of our plan's success. Our chances of success increase substantially each time we liberate one of our own. But those loyal to us in the Commonwealth slowly gather strength, regardless, knowing of our efforts. Thus do we inspire each other, not unlike the dynamics which I see among the Nightwings here. Now, good afternoon then, reader. I have a delivery to make. He strides out the wagon, bearing the sealed message. And afterward, uh, a list of terms which you may wish to know. So this are all the terms of the rights in case you really needed to learn what all these are. The eight scribes. Yeah, there are a lot. There are lots of this. Man, the lore is going to be... Okay. Afterward, final thoughts and an alphabetical index of key terms, places, and ideas. So if you're like, wait, what is all this? The Alden Stars... Hang on, does it not say... Wait, hang on a moment. Wait a minute here. Press LB to turn to previous page. I'm checking something here. If I hold down... Exp uh, suspect Liberect, it stops here. What, what about this page? Will it not show me what the rest of that is on here? Huh. Sundries. Oh, that's Easlock, except it's censored. Huh. Weird. I'm going to have to look into why all of a sudden the inspect only stops here. There there has to be a button to show off the rest of the text, right? I know all the other pages in the book, if I were to skip to a random one, yeah, it says what's here. But that's kind of a weird thing. This is of this book. There, there has to be a way, right? I mean, it's still somewhat legible, but... Huh. Weird. I'll have to look into that. Of course, we have the common rooms. We take a look at... None other than Volfred. Look at this green bar that goes all the way up. <laughs> yeah. Exiles gain enlightenment twice as quickly while they have inspiration. So, yeah. He is way behind. But, yeah. Let's, uh... Let's accompany Volfred real quick. You and Volfred venture into the strange outcropping of High Wing Cove along a circuitous path that takes you far enough away from the Black Wagon. 
just not enough. My agent suggests that what we seek is somewhere very close, my boy. Perhaps you can already sense its presence. You can. After a careful search, you procure an artifact, either discarded by one witless to its power or left there for the sake of someone such as you. You discovered the Web Lanathorn. After Bearer banishes an adversary, a banished ally has a chance to instantly return. 50%. A dim and misshapen light whose enchantment is said to help the lost discover the true path. And return to the wagon. All right, let's uh, continue along our journey. Yeah, everything's winter. I haven't seen my notes that we already visited the Black Basin, which is... Uh oh Yeah, so, uh, before I read this, my note says I already visited Black Basin, so I really hope it didn't waste a uh, turn unnecessarily, but whatever. The wagon comes to a sudden stop after a near miss with someone or something that got right in its path. At first you see no sign of whomever or whatever it was, but then... A voice rings out from off the path... From, no, from off to the side of your path, the friendly yet somehow aggravating tone leaves little room for question as to who it is. Hey, hey guys, uh, so maybe watch where you're going a bit more next time, I guess. You must have scared Dad half to death, I mean, just look at him. But it's good running into you like this because I got for you a really special deal. We got some pretty out there stuff on hand, and it's been slowing us a bit to be completely honest, yeah. Something about him, I don't know, but Dad just hasn't been himself. But once we open shop, why, these little numbers are going to go flying off the shelves. And you can have first dibs. All you got to do is give us a lift, because you're heading to the Nesta Triesta, right? Just drop us off when you get there, okay? This black wagon does not provide for you the most spacious accommodations, but it may have enough room enough for Falcon Ron, barely, at least for the short remainder of your trip. On the other hand, you sense a troubling energy from whatever strange artifacts he is transporting right now, and whether, wonder whether you should get involved. Falkenron is asking you to give him a lift. Tell him to get in. Uh, the thought of having to travel with Falkenron fills it with a name. No, come on. Let's be nice. Get on in, buddy. Though your fellow exiles exchange cautious looks, you invite Falkenron to climb aboard. Oh, great. Thanks, guys. I'll just uh, squeeze right in. Just... He does not. <laughs> Dad, come on. Put your back into it already. Eventually, Falkenron manages to get on board as you prepare to set forth again. Falkenron joins you. Welcome him aboard. For now. After what felt like an interminable trip, during which Falconron did not even once cease to speak of matters relevant only to him, you reach your destination. Anyways, thanks guys. I remember what I said. These things I got here, you got dibs on them if you come visit me and dad, that is. Now we'll be going, so be seeing you, okay? Whether from Falconron ceases drivel or the ill effects of his cargo, everyone is left feeling out of sorts. Your fellow exiles lost negative five glory for the next rite. By being kind... <laughs> Just after, yeah, so we now deal slightly less damage to the pyre. Try not to think about that too much. But there should be something really neat for him. Okay. Hey guys, thanks again for having me and Dad back there. We really owe you one. And so as promised, I got something really, really good in stock for you right here. He pauses for dramatic effect. Then, he reveals to you several artifacts. The Black Hook, the Black Heart, and the Black Claw. The, oh, it's a Cursed Talisman. The bear has 100% more stamina than usual, but cannot grasp the orb. After getting banished, Bear either returns with infinite stamina or as a fast-moving howler. The Bear's aura remains while grasping the or orb, but cannot be cast. Ooh, cannot be used by worms, harps, or crones. Uh, so yeah, these are cursed talismans. They emanate with energy that cannot possibly be completely healthy. Nice, huh? You guys, you got first dibs on these bad boys, and I can tell you what, they're going to go fast. Um, if I do this, let me just do that. All right. I'm going to sell this off because I need money. Proceed. Oh, these talismans are really cheap. I think longer to return by a second. Ooh, 180, huh? All right. Uh. Where is... Where's Rookies? Show me yours. At the Rookie? Yep, we don't need that anymore. I will gladly take this one. Yep, I shall have 25 remaining. Uh... There is a... The Scribe Snuff. Hmm. Actually, I do want to take that, because I think... Proceed. 
Oh, nice. That's one of them scribe snuff fingers. There, huh? One dab of those little guys and you'll be like, woo, know what I mean? They're pretty popular, but I got my connections and they've got their connections and they got their connection and they got plenty more of those. So just come see me and dad here later on. We ought to have one back in stock. You already have another one back in stock. No, never mind. Okay. Uh, hmm. Returns. Distinguish the says worth by 10. I do want to keep the rings. Wherever the other ring is, I'm not sure where the other ring went. Yeah. Let me just go here. Oh, we got downside talismans and indigenous lamps. I think, unless I'm horribly mistaken, that might actually be it for, uh... Sorry. Alright. Actually, what I want to do, real quick, this person's masteries. Choose new masteries, too. So, uh, as more than the adversaries, because... Recently, we've been doing better. So let's just do that. Pass that she instantly recovers all her stamina. So moves 30% more quickly. Sure, that sounds better. Because this, even though it's more defensive, uh, I've actually been doing fairly well. I think we've got... The number of Titan Stars that are going to be a problem really isn't much. But yeah, let's take a look at this Talisman stuff. Yeah, let's just put that back on. Last pierces through solid objects. All right, let me just do a little organizing here. Maximum range by eight. All right, there we go. All right, uh, walking Ron. Can, can I please leave? Ron, can I please leave? Oh. Uh, why am I not allowed to leave the shop? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I might have done a bad. Hang on a moment. Okay, I think I know what I did wrong. You're not supposed to do any weird mastery stuff while you're here, because then it will break the game. It is just imps, down tied talismans. That's good. Okay. That's good. Let's go back. Reset those. Put this over to here. Put this here. Masteries too. All right. Once again, there we go. Bring this back. Should be good. And with us, put that ring back on. No, not the ring. Let's put that back on, yeah. And as for Volfred here, I want to put on this because he's not gonna. He doesn't really have much in terms of masteries. And we have the Ancient Book of Rites. And I sincerely think Downside Talismans should be the last one. Yes, I no longer need to deal with Falcon Ron. Once you see at the very bottom that return to different regions and reveal more pages, uh, if that disappears, you have all of the pages. So we no longer need to deal with Falcon Ron. Thank goodness. But all right, let's, uh, let's commence the rite, shall we? Here among the molten crags of the nest of Triesta, you await the signal of the stars. There is no sign yet of your expected adversaries, the accusers. Then the little imp Tizo flutters up to you. Tizo cautions you that he has some history with your next adversary, Lendel. Tizo seems to be indicating that Lendel has a personal vendetta against him. But before he can explain any further, the stars begin to call to you. All right, we got another one. Your adversaries each shall deal an additional five pop to your pyre. So I don't need this one. Uh, 50% stamina used with their... You know? Uh, hmm. I'm debating in my head whether or not I should double up on all this just so that we have less to deal with. Total bonus if you prevail, six enlightenment. And there's actually an achievement in the game to get all of these uh, activated at the same time. Quicker and cunning to react. Each deal additional five in my pyre. 50% stamina used with their abilities. What if I just didn't? Uh, Unfathomed Thorns, I already got that on. I need Islach. Is Lord Gan. Oh, yep, I have Land Gandorf. Bylanthius. 
each deal an additional five to my pyre. And they have extra stamina. If I never let them score, though... I can always just reset. No, actually, no. I should have plenty. Let's just do one. Oh, boy. Powerful defensive abilities and the rights it can spawn an invulnerable sapling with its own defensive aura. Reader, or should I say deceiver, for I detect another exile in your ranks. He's been here for a long while, the pal. exile Volfred Sandalwood himself, that cursed sap. I ought to have known he was behind all this. He has no love for our sacred tradition. Yet you would heed his poisoned words over mine own? I thought that we were friends. Then fine. Let us return to a more formal distance. Your companions are assembled and ready for the rites to commence. However, there is still no sign of your adversaries, the accusers. The little Impetizo screeches something, cautioning you to all stay alert. But then, something leaps forth from the shadow. He grabs at his mask. Aha! Caught out, you miserable beast! I knew it! After all this time, I knew that you were still among their ranks. Tizo is angry to have stumbled into an apparent trap laid for him by Lendel. S Silence, fiend! You robbed me of my freedom, my dignity! Your evil shall be ended here and now, and you, Nightwings, shall not deny me thus again! Come then, my accusers, while we face none other than the spawn of the accursed imp, Haub the Swallow. Let us show him now that he is a disgrace. First of the eight scribes of the Book of Rites, known as the Gracious or the Accursed. An imp of rare intellect, he showed compassion to Solium Mur after he fell into exile. Tizo is along his, uh, the spawn of the accursed imp. He's basically like a great, great, great grandson or something. Tizo whistles something angry back at him. Whatever transpired between him and Lendell in the past, Lendell ev evidently has not let it go. But of course, we gotta get a tutorial in. Reader, my boy, let us confer a moment here. I am returned now to the rites, a tradition that I had once disavowed. And now that I've donned the raiments, the voice knows I am here. It is no matter, really, for our plan is well in motion. All that remains for us is to prevail. I shall aid you and the others in this task as best I can. Let us see now whether these old limbs of mine are still of any use. So, hold X to use an aura shield. So, yeah. The sap... You're causing quite a stir out in the Commonwealth. You plant your little seeds of discontent. Know that your designs are sowing chaos shall not be tolerated here. Now, good evening to you. So yeah, the sap is very much a defensive character. He can deflect auras, he can blink, and he can throw up a sprout. Now then, Nightwings. I look forward to conducting with you all, if and when, of course, the reader calls for us to stand as a triumvirate, together. Oh boy! Who shall besmirch the Nightwing's name? Uh, let me just check on the team, the accusers. They start off with 35 extra, oh yeah. Well-feared young constable, we already know this, we read that last time, but it's there if you want to double check and read it. Uh, oof, 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 that ain't good. This could be awful, and I gave him extra stamina, too. There is going to be a lot of resets on this one, I fear. But yeah, I do need to get Volfred in here. Volfred. Constantly. We're going to need a more defensive line, so I'm going to need Bertrude. Bertrude. But we're going to need a scorer. And... Let's go with Pamatha instead. Pamatha. All right. Very well. Our adversaries are contemptuous indeed. We shall teach them to respect their elders. Nightwings, the wicked fiend you serve is an affront. He denied my rightful freedom in my moment of triumph. I shall never forgive him or any of you. Oh, 
Mind doing something, Bertrude? Hop! That's fine. That's fine. Any points is good points. Nope. Wee. Nope. Yeah, there we go. We're doing good. Doing good. All right, let's see what happens if I do this. Oh, not what I meant to do. Uh-oh. Good. Good, good, good. All right, Pamatha. You are worthy. There we go. We're doing good. We're doing good. Not really using Volfrit for much. No, don't. No, not again. I cannot lose to you again. This cannot be happening to me. Oops, didn't mean to do that. All right. Uh-oh. Okay. I just gotta get Malive over. No, not Malive. The. Uh... Oh, not what I meant to do. Right, that's right. Come here. Come here. Not sure what your plan was, but it didn't quite work. <laughs> Boom, baby. Oh yeah. The Whew. right is done. There we go. Tizo is very pleased that you prevailed, but wishes to make a quick exit at this time. Don't blame me, buddy. Blast! Where did he go? Where did he go? That infernal imp! It is a monster in disguise! A fiend! Come forth to torment me until the day I die! Lendl storms off in a fit of anger. Tizo reappears once the coast is clear and expresses his gratitude again. What Lendell said before, if Tizo truly is a descendant of Haub the Swallow, then he has quite the legacy to live up to. The eight scribes bless us with their ways. Yeah, we're going to be using the Volford a lot. It's been a while since my last outings in the rites, begging for your continued patience as I recollect the way. So now we have... Legacies of Old Hundred Minds. Right masteries enhancing a sap's ability to spawn saplings and protect his triumvirate. Or, Grasp of the Philosopher. Right masteries enhancing a sap's triumvirate's ability to persevere in a, persevere in a right. So, once per right, if Volford adversary extinguishes pyre, is restored by 10. Or, if Volford is banished, the sapling shall automatically spawn near his pyre until he returns. Hmm. I kind of like this one more. Tis the wisdom of old hundred miles. There we go. Until the next right. Ah, oh, yeah. This episode has been going on for quite a while. Not to mention the weird bug that I found. Several bugs I found, in fact. Back at the Black Wagon, you are taking some time to recover after triumphing over the accusers rather decisively when Volford approaches. What he has to say is going to have to wait until next time, because holy smokes, this episode has gone on for a bit too long. So, <laughs> until next time, everybody, take care.